Argentina, the land of tango, messy, and economic meltdown? Sadly, yes. Today, we're talking about a country facing its worst economic crisis in decades. Inflation is through the roof. People are struggling to afford basic necessities. Imagine your grocery bill doubling, then tripling, almost overnight. That's the reality for millions of Argentines. This isn't just about numbers on a spreadsheet. It's about families struggling to put food on the table. It's about the erosion of hope and the growing feeling of despair. Argentina is a nation in crisis, grappling with an uncertain future. Once a beacon of prosperity in South America, Argentina's economic journey has been a roller coaster. From periods of rapid growth to devastating recessions, the country has seen it all. Political instability and economic mismanagement have played significant roles in this turmoil. International loans and debts have further complicated the situation, often leading to stringent austerity measures. These measures, while intended to stabilize the economy, have often resulted in public outcry and widespread protests. Experts suggest that comprehensive reforms and sustainable policies are essential for recovery. Amidst the crisis, there are stories of resilience and hope. Communities are coming together, finding innovative ways to support each other. Despite the hardships, the spirit of the Argentine people remains unbroken. As Argentina navigates these challenging times, the world watches, hoping for a brighter future for this resilient nation. Argentina, a land of passion, culture, and indomitable spirit, will rise again. Argentina's economic woes didn't happen overnight. Years of government mismanagement, corruption scandals, and a global pandemic have all played their part. The result? A perfect storm that has pushed the country to the brink. The Argentine peso has plummeted in value. Savings have been wiped out. People are losing their jobs. The situation is dire, and the government is under immense pressure to find a solution. But are there solutions making things better or worse? Enter Javier Millet, Argentina's new president. Think of him as the Ron Swanson of South American politics, a libertarian who believes in small government and free markets. Millet's solution to Argentina's economic woes. Shock therapy. He's slashed government spending, removed price controls, and drastically reduced subsidies. It's like ripping off a band-aid, but on a national scale. Painful. Absolutely. But will it be enough to cure what ails Argentina? Millet's reforms are a gamble. And like any gamble, there are winners and losers. Unfortunately, for many ordinary Argentines, it feels like they're on the losing side. Austerity measures have led to job losses and rising costs. Remember that grocery bill we talked about? It's gotten even worse. People are cutting back on essentials, making impossible choices between food, rent, and medicine. The social safety net is fraying, and many are falling through the cracks. Section 5. Argentines adapt to survive. Despite the hardships, the spirit of the Argentine people remains unbroken. They're resilient, resourceful, and they know how to adapt. In the face of adversity, they're finding creative ways to survive. Bartering is back in vogue. Community kitchens are popping up. People are starting small businesses, offering services, anything to make ends meet. It's a testament to the human spirit, but it's also a stark reminder of the daily struggles they face. Section 6. Alejandra's story. From empanadas to baños. Meet Alejandra. She is a determined and resourceful woman from Argentina. She used to run a small food store, selling delicious empanadas to hungry customers. Her empanadas were famous in the neighborhood, known for their unique flavors and homemade touch. But as the economy tanked, so did her business. The once bustling streets became eerily quiet and her loyal customers could no longer afford the luxury of street food. People couldn't afford her empanadas anymore. The economic downturn hit everyone hard, 
and Alejandra found herself struggling to make ends meet. But Alejandra is a fighter. She refused to give up. She knew she had to adapt to survive. She noticed a need, a lack of public restrooms, and she saw an opportunity. In the crowded streets, people were always looking for a place to relieve themselves. She transformed her food stall into a makeshift bathroom business. It was a bold move, but she was determined to make it work. It's not glamorous, but it's keeping her afloat. Alejandra manages the business with the same dedication she had for her empanadas. It's a story of resilience, of turning lemons into, well, you get the idea. Alejandra's journey is a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and thrive, even in the face of adversity. Her story inspires us to look for opportunities in unexpected places and to never give up, no matter how tough the circumstances. Section 7. OnlyFans, a controversial lifeline. For some Argentines, the economic crisis has pushed them to explore unconventional and often controversial ways to make money. One such avenue? OnlyFans. Yes, that OnlyFans. The platform known for its adult content has become a lifeline for some, offering a way to earn hard currency in a collapsing economy. It's a complex issue, fraught with moral and societal implications, but it's a reality for many struggling to survive. Section 8. Maybell's Journey. Finding Hope Online. Maybell Delval is one of those people, a woman who, despite the odds, has found a way to keep her family afloat. A single mother struggling to provide for her children, she turned to OnlyFans out of desperation. The economic situation in Argentina left her with few options, and she needed to find a way to make ends meet. It wasn't an easy decision, but it allowed her to pay her bills, put food on the table, and give her children a fighting chance. The income from her online work meant that her children could have a semblance of normalcy, with meals on the table and a roof over their heads. Maybell's story is a reminder that behind the headlines and economic indicators, there are real people with real lives. People who are doing everything they can to survive and provide for their loved ones. Her journey is not just about financial survival, but also about maintaining dignity and hope in the face of adversity. It's a story of resilience, but also of the difficult choices people are forced to make when their backs are against the wall. Maybell's experience sheds light on the broader struggles faced by many in Argentina and around the world. It highlights the strength and determination of individuals who, despite facing significant challenges, continue to fight for a better future for themselves and their families. Section 9. Glimmers of hope on the horizon. Is there any light at the end of this economic tunnel? Some economists point to early signs of progress. Inflation, while still high, seems to be stabilizing. Foreign investment is trickling back in, but it's too early to celebrate. The road to recovery will be long and arduous. The social costs of this crisis are immense, and it will take years, if not decades, to heal the wounds. Section 10 a long and uncertain road ahead. Argentina's economic crisis is a cautionary tale, a reminder of the fragility of prosperity and the human cost of economic turmoil. The country faces a long and uncertain road ahead. Will Millet's reforms be enough to salvage the economy? Will the Argentine people get the support they desperately need? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, their resilience, their spirit, their unwavering hope, that's something no economic crisis can ever take away. <laughs>